We have been talking about different strategies to add double digit numbers. Every math class has started with this anchor chart. John had 48 Pokemon cards. His best friend gave him 36 more. How many cards does he have now? One strategy we talked about was using a hundreds chart to add. John started with 48 Pokemon cards and his friend gave him 36 more. So the strategy is to start with the bigger number on the hundreds chart. So our starting pathway is at 48. And then you break down the number 36. 36 is broken down into 30 plus 6. So we add 30, 10, 20, 30. That is the easy way to move on a hundreds chart by moving down three slots like that. And then add six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we said start with the larger add-in, which is 48. Add the tens from the second add-in, which is our 30. And add the ones from the second add-in, which was our six. And our answer is 84. The second strategy that we discussed was using an open number line. We're still doing the same problem, 48 plus 36. And you start with the greater number place 48 on the open number line and then decompose the smaller number decompose 36 into expanded form again 30 plus 6 and then think of how to use jumps on the number line to show that you are adding 36 when we are at 48 we are going to add 30 to do that we can break 30 down into three groups of 10 so 48 plus 10 gets me to 58. And then I add another 10, and I'm at 68. Another 10 gets me to 78. Each time I'm adding on the number line, I'm marking my number line to show what number I'm landing on. Now I just added 10, 20, 30, and now I will add my six ones. And here I'm making smaller hops. 1 is smaller than 10, so my jumps look smaller. So I have added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I've landed on the number 84. And I have uh, the same number once again, but a different strategy to get the answer. The third way we discussed was decomposing the um, problem, 48 plus 36. So I can decompose both add-ins to tens and ones and then compose the tens and ones to find the sum. The sum is the answer to an addition problem. So I take 48 and I break it down into tens and ones. 48 is 40 plus 8. 36 is 30 plus 6. And we have uh, used the color blue to represent tens and the color red to represent ones. And then once you have your number broken down, you group what is the same. So I will add my tens together. 40 plus 30 is 70. And now I will add my ones. 8 plus 6 is 14. And now I can put this together. 70 plus 14 equals 84. Or I can break down my number this way. 48 is 40 plus 8. 36 is 30 plus 6 and I can add my 10s and my 1s, and then 70 plus 14 equals 84. And I have discussed three ways to do double-digit addition, using a hundreds chart, using an open number line, and decomposing numbers.